What's going on guys? So I got a smaller video for you today. Um, this is going to be talking about the poll. So let's uh, jump into that. So the first question on the most recent poll was, should we add gambling? As you can see, yes is winning by 56% compared to the 43% uh, saying no. Had no one skip, 86 people uh, total answered. So this has been a pretty controversial topic throughout pretty much the entire existence of Revival, since we've had players. Um, I've always said that once we got bigger, we would revisit it, and that's sort of the reason why we pulled it. Um, we're actually at a point now where I would be comfortable giving it a trial run, if you will. Um, so, based off of these results right here, it, it feels like nothing should be done, if anything. But I know that there's a lot of people that... Um, that have been waiting for gambling, that are interested in it, and uh, that could probably do it responsibly. I mean, who knows? You never know exactly what anyone will do. And I know that there's a lot of people who absolutely hate gambling, as uh, I am one of those people. But as the owner of the server, you kind of have to make sort of you have to you have to you have to work with people a little bit. So uh, based off of these results, I'm not going to do anything yet. I think what we're going to do is we're going to figure out a plan, uh, like an absolute strategy, and we'll. Um, Repoll, and we'll have some more options. It's really more or less not necessarily polling it straight up, but just to gather opinions uh, for the people who voted yes, why they voted yes, for the people who voted no, why they voted no, what we could do to persuade you know persuade people from you know who voted no to maybe vote yes, vice versa, etc. Um, in terms of the the second question, if we had gambling, like, what should it be staking? Uh, one that pretty consistently, a lot of people thought it should be all. Some people were just liking flower poker. Some people like dicing. Personally, I would prefer staking and dicing. Um, those are the two forms of gambling that, you know, I've always I've always done my my day. But staking would probably be the one that we would focus on. I think anybody who was a fan of gambling will look at these results and be like, oh, well, it is majority, but n not by I mean not by much. I mean not uh, only what you know ten. Uh, 11 votes, 12 votes, it really wasn't that much of a difference, so um, I think uh, they'd be willing to accept whatever we do. So I've come up with some ideas, uh, we talked about it in the staff chat, nothing conclusive, that's why you haven't had any information revealed. Um, the idea would be that we just do staking, we make it cash only, uh, and we add some sort of tax, so every single stake, let's say one person stakes 100 mil, another person stakes 100 mil. 200 mil total stake, 10% of it goes away, so whoever wins would actually get 180 rather than 200. I don't even know if we can code that. That's just an idea. Like, I'm just spitballing ideas. Um, and then keeping the rules very, you know, minimal. And there's been some people who suggested, you know, oh, if staking comes out or gambling comes out, I might, you know, I don't have self-control. I might stake my bank, and if I stake my bank and lose, I'm, you know, probably going to quit. Um, I think one thing we can do to really prevent the... Um, Newer players, the you know the smaller players and whatnot, um, from just gambling their bank away right away, uh, just like it really like it comes down to just like being a moment bored. Nothing's going on in the server. There's no, I don't know what I just did. Can I just go back, or did I do go? I guess I went back. <laughs> but like I mean, it could just be as simple as you know nothing's going on in the server. There hasn't been an update for a couple days. Like you're still waiting for the next one to come out, and uh, you just get bored and you go stick where you're making loose. So I mean, it's as simple as that. And there's no way, a real way to control it. But something that would help is if we added a uh, entrance fee. So in order to access the dual arena or whatever gambling form we did, you'd have to pay a pretty hefty sum. So it wouldn't really apply to those people who don't want to play, um, who don't want to stake or don't want to gamble. If you like only have like a 500 mil bank and you want to gamble that away, you'll have to pay 500 mil to gamble. So it really um, is going to limit, you know, who can do what. And if people want to gamble, they obviously can. Um, if you have any thoughts on those possible restrictions, being the tax, uh, cash only. The cash only is to is really to go hand-in-hand -hand with the tax. Um, in terms of rules for staking, that's another thing. Uh, I, I don't know how... Like The thing is, like I'm saying all this without really knowing what all we can do in terms of code because personally I don't think I'll have much input in this this will be anything we end up doing would be done through dark so I'd have to talk to him and see what all can be done but I'm using this video as sort of just a you know a discussion an open discussion where you guys could comment or you know give me any of your feedbacks and if you're one of those people that just absolutely hates it make sure you comment that as well um, I know that some people like uh, I'm trying not to like be wishy-washy or be down the middle but that's just kind of what I have to do as the owner of the server 
personally, I, I'm opposed to gambling. I don't want it, but I understand that what I want isn't necessarily what everyone on the server wants. So that's what this discussion is about. So if you have any feedback on those possible suggestions, or if you just if you think maybe staking isn't the way to go because it has you know uh, other issues, maybe I mean dicing would be one of those things where the dicing would be the easiest to control. It's just I don't think dicing is that fun. I think uh, staking is a lot more enjoyable for a lot of the people who gamble. Um, if you're one of those people that really like gambles, what is it that you're looking for? Because personally, like, um, I, I, I gambled a fair bit on ICOV. That was my first ex real experience with gambling. In, in real life, I'm not much of a gambler. I don't, um, I'm kind of cheap. Like, I'm just cheap about how I, I, I do things. So I don't like the idea of losing my money or losing, you know, whatever. And um, on ICOV, I did, I did gamble a fair bit because I had maxed out, was... You know, I, I had done everything there was to do, and I sort of got into the, <laughs> the, the the gambling, and it was pretty fun. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You pretty much always lose. And, um, you know, I could see the fun there. But another thing is a lot of those servers, um, they know all the shenanigans that can possibly go down, and they themselves are involved in shenanigans. You know, there was a lot of rumors on ICOV about eco-cleaners, and I'd, I'd heard from a lot of reputable people like that, that knew firsthand that there actually were eco-cleaners. Um, so, all that shady stuff, you know, they're doing for a reason, because they, you know, they want to clean the eco or anything. I don't want any of that shit going down. Like, no matter what we do, it's all going to be up and up. If we ever do any shady shit, I'll tell you about it. Like, <laughs> I'll tell, I'll, in a, in literally in a couple seconds, we'll talk about the next shady shit I'm about to do. Um, so that's my promise to you. If there is any shenanigans, I'll let you know about it. I'll let you know how we're screwing you. Um, but it just, it just seems like there's not enough of a benefit to really add gambling. So if you're one of those gamblers, let me know your thoughts on that. So the next question we have is, should we add the ability to know any items this basically makes Ultimate Iron Man? I was going to put this makes it like easy mode, but I thought that that might tip my opinion, even though most people know my opinion. This is winning with 77%. I'm not doing this. I don't care. I, don't, I, I pulled it just so I could say that I pulled it and I was hoping it would fail. I have no clue why all of a sudden everyone cares. Now, okay, let me, let me just understand, let me explain why. And this is what I was talking about when I said I was going to do some shady shit. Um, Ultimate Iron Man cannot note things on RuneScape. Now, I know there's going to be a couple people that comment most, they could either be trolling me or they just genuinely think you can. You can't note items on old school RuneScape. You can't just use an item on a bank to note it. All the noted items you see Ultimate Iron have have come from one way or another. There's certain NPCs that do certain things, such as tool leprechauns can note herbs for you. Certain monsters drop a ton of noted items, and that's how they get them. They stock up. Ultimate Iron Man, to play Ultimate Iron Man, you have to be very, very smart. You have to really actually try. Ultimate Iron Man isn't a mode that you can just jump into and fuck around with. You, If you want to be an Ultimate Iron Man, you really have to commit to it. That's why there's very few Ultimate Iron Man on my server that actually, like, have stats and have done decent. I can only name like three or four off the top of my head. And um, it's, I, I feel like a lot of these people voting are just being nice and they don't actually care. They're just voting yes because they don't really care. I think, um, I, I understand that the logic behind letting everyone vote is that, oh, well, maybe one day one of these normal players will make an Ultimate Iron. I think it devalues everyone who actually cares about Ultimate Iron, like those, you know, a couple people I mentioned. It devalues their accounts a lot and it takes away from the challenge. Ultimate Iron Man is the hardest mode we have. In the future, I would like to explore with a hardcore Iron Man mode, or just a hardcore mode in general, where it's not necessarily Iron Man, but it has a lot more restrictions. Um, things of that nature, I think that could be interesting, but at this moment, Ultimate Iron Man is the hardest mode, and this just makes it easier, and devalues what they've done, so I've always been against it. I know that there's been a, a, ma a constant debate about it, um, it's kind of a meme. It's like a, s a small meme in the sense that everyone knows how, how, how much I hate it. And um, I'm sure I'm going to have some comments trolling me about it. But we recently added Looting Bag and Rune Pouch. And the Looting Bag is very good. It is very generous in terms of, like, it's, like you can put items in it from anywhere. So you don't necessarily just have to be in the wilderness. So it's, it's a lot better. I mean, it's good for normal players as well. Um, and I think that that is going to help out the main issues with Ultimate Iron Man. I feel like a lot of the people who want this are people who aren't even going to like continue with the Ultimate Iron Man. Because, like I said, Ultimate Iron Man is a challenge. So, even though this passed, I think I'm going to pull uh, my owner rank and not do it. Now, if you, you know, are like just absolutely upset with that, if you're one of those people that actually did genuinely want it, and it wasn't just because you're trying to be nice, I'll, I'll happily hear your opinions. I just feel like I've talked to some of the Ultimate Iron Man 
who are actually still playing and who you know are, are higher on the high scores, and they don't they, they don't want this because it again it, it devalues what they're doing, everything that they've done. And I really don't think that it it's needed. It's not, it's it doesn't exist on old school RuneScape, and that's what we base this game off of. So, um, yeah, if you have an opinion on that, let me know. But I'm pulling a dick move, and I'm I'm not going with the results of this poll. So the next question was, should we remove scaling messages, stuff like that? You cut gym, you cook the fish, you top the log, etc. This is voting with, uh, or passing with 76%. Um, in terms of what percentage I look for, I don't really, I'm not going by like old schools. I think they require 75%. I kind of just like look at it and um, I sort of eyeball it. If, it, if it's like, the, and, and this one would pass in old school, so I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to start with this. The people who voted no, um, there's actually more than I thought. I kind of expected this to win like, 90%. So, if you're one of the people who w was not in favor of this, let me know why. Is it like, you, you might not know if you're doing the action correctly? Um, if you have any concerns, like, let me know. Because I've already started removing some of the messages. I think, um, I think having, like, the starting message, like, that when you chop a tree, like, when you first start, that message should stay, so you know you're chopping the tree. And obviously, there'd be animations, of course. But, like, every single time you get a log, I don't, I, don't, I just don't, I feel like that doesn't need to be told you and it's going to spam your chat up so we're, we're slowly working on this if you're one of those people who voted no just kind of give me some feedback on why what, what was your logic behind that uh next time one is should we change to a new home location personally i like our home location i think it's really unique and i think it um i think it works out well i don't think there's any problems with it other than the fact that it's kind of small and we've been growing a lot so everybody's sort of been throwing their ideas around uh in terms of what we're gonna do, I honestly don't know. At this point, I kind of want to keep it, so we're gonna we're gonna wait and see. We we anticipate once invention comes out that we'll probably grow a lot more, and if we finally just get to a point where there's just like a thousand people at home, and we have no other solutions, we'll probably consider um, moving to a new home location. If we do move to a home no, new home location, we'll probably just come up with a couple good ideas that everybody likes, and then we'll pull those, and then whichever wins one wins from there. In terms of Edgeville, I'm not doing Edgeville. Um, Edgeville is overdone. I'm not doing Edgeville, <laughs> but you know we'll we'll talk about that if that ends up happening. So favorite thing about the server, well, um, I always ask these questions uh, every once in a while just because I want to see what people are liking, what people are disliking. It's always interesting to see um, what makes people play the server sometimes because um, I've I've been this way myself. There's always been these little things here and there that have always made me want to play servers. And uh, I remember someone talking to me about how the skilling pets. So there's a skilling pet for every skill. That was the thing that made them play the server. So I like adding these questions just to kind of see what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. One of the things that interested me the most about the favorite thing about the server was the fact that the community was actually, like, um, up there. So I don't know if you can ever say that about any of my servers. I don't know necessarily why. I don't know if it's me. You know, back when I had more followers, you know, more subscribers, more like, views and everything like that, um, there was sort of a lot of toxicity that kind of followed me and... Uh, a lot of my servers in the past, you know, constantly had to deal with those issues. I mean, I, this the thing that really separates this server from the other is the fact that we really haven't had that many issues. We haven't really had to deal with the DDoSers. We haven't really had to deal with those people logging in, flaming, dropping. I mean, we had one instance where uh, it was pretty simple. Just uh, one of our moderators got hacked, and they dropped all this stuff and banned a couple people. And that was, like, as far as it went. Um... So a community was never one of those things that most people would like about my servers. The community was always kind of like, there's a lot of trolls. But on here, it's actually, I, I, I do agree with a lot of these people that I do like the community. I haven't had a lot of problems. We haven't had to ban that many people at all. Recently, as we've been growing, you know, we've had more issues. But all in all, I've really enjoyed the community on here. I love talking to people. Um, and if you want to just kind of like, you know, slowly scroll through that. But uh, there are a lot of uh, communities in here and whatnot. Um... Is there some, there's some trolls in here I wanted to go over, but ITK, just, uh, yeah, but, uh, the, uh, community being one was, was pretty interesting. The next thing, <laughs> the least favorite thing, I like adding this as well, just because it lets us know what we have to improve on. If there's a lot of people who are saying the same thing, we can focus on those. Um, and it's funny to see that there's a lot of people who put the community in the favorite thing, and then there's a lot of people who put the community in their least favorite thing, which is interesting, so... Uh, how little sinkholes there are. Um, I think invention will help with that. No turmoil. I, I guess I can just sort of go over these. This is already going to be like a long spammy video anyways. You're not even seeing gameplay, so I might as well just talk about people. If Gammy comes out, that's going to be at least favorite thing. Fair enough. Staff. I, the people who like, I, 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 I mean, I wish I could talk to these people and get like a really in-depth explanation from them. What is it about the staff that, because I, 
personally, what I've played, I've played servers since 2008. So I've played servers a very long time, almost 10 years now. And I have never, ever cared about staff. I've never, like, noticed them. I've never really, you know, they've never affected my gameplay. Because I'm one of those people that kind of, I like to just, like, look, look through things myself. And if I ever needed help and they didn't help, I, mean, I, I would notice that and whatnot. But I never really put that much power, like, I never really put that much weight into staff. Um, so that was one of the interesting things about owning a server was how much people actually cared about the staff team and whatnot. I never really thought it made a difference. Uh, when we actually started Revival, John and I, we act, we wanted no staff. Like, uh, our plan was to have, like, three people, and that was it. And uh, it backfired. Um, apparently, people do value staff way more than I do. So, if you're one of those people, let me know why. I'm not, I'm not judging you. I'm not hating on you. I'm just, it's just, like, I, don't, I just don't understand it. So, I don't know what it is about the staff. Like, I don't know if you do have a certain experience. I mean, if you have, like, if you have feedback on the staff... You, you can PM me on if you don't want to be like if you don't want to make like an open forum post or you know where they, they can judge you and whatnot just PM me directly it's not that big of a deal I mean most issues we're, we're willing to work with you so if you have anything to say no placeholders to make I am not going to add placeholders uh, for one I can't code it and I know Dark probably could but I'm going to tell him not to just because placeholders are not needed on a private server like this private server every private server has issues that's just and I, I can tell you, we can work on, we can stop invention right now, we can drop everything, focus on all of the bugs, get all of them working. There will be new ones the second another, like, the second another update batch comes out, we're going to be, you know, there's going to be, always going to be bugs. I think that the, the improvements we've made towards the bank are, are perfect. I think the bank tabs crashing is still something we're looking into. We haven't determined the newer causes, because we, we did a, a, Dark did a fix a while back, and it worked um, perf it, worked, it worked very well, but we've noticed that some people have had some issues, so we're trying to figure that out. In terms of placeholders, just get two of an item. I, there's, it's not happening. Nothing that's perfect. No PK is a little... Um, it's something we got to work. It's just one of those things where the server has gone through a lot of changes. Our, our mindset and our opinions and everything we've done has changed a lot. The server originally with, you know, 5 to 10, 15 people maybe... PKing wasn't, no, it wasn't even like on the horizon, you know. I, I really honestly never expected the success we had back when we had five, six people playing. I never thought we were going to make it. So to be here is pretty awesome, and um, we're kind of playing catch-up. We are uh, trying to sort of undo some of the things we did. Like, for example, I never cared about PKing, so I made it so the Max Kip can teleport from anywhere in the wilderness. And then once we actually got, like, you know, players started, you know, checking out the server and whatnot, that became an issue, because you try to PK and they could just immediately teleport away. And I believe it worked through TB. So, um, it's just one of those things where right now it's kind of broken, but we're, uh, we're working towards it. Um, you could lose, if you'd be able to choose task. I feel like if you can choose your task, that just kind of defeats the purpose. Now, I know the Slayer reset form is insanely overpowered. It, it is very overpowered. But I just feel like that just takes it just takes it too far. Now, maybe down the road we'll add some Super Slayer reset form where you just get this drop-down list and you can pick whatever task you want, but I just personally, I think it takes away from Slayer. I like to just, when I when I use a Slayer reset form, I normally like to just, I because I, like a lot of people, what they do is when they, they use it, they have a boss in mind that they want to go kill. Like, oh, I'll go kill Zami, so let me get Zami as a task. I like to just roll it, and if I get one that I like, I do it. And, um, I think just being able to choose whatever task you want defeats the purpose of Slayer. PMing is not hard, not easy. It's in the middle, same as drop rates, all about RNG. That's your least favorite thing about the server? Uh, there's no, like, there's no good way for me to, <laughs> like, reply to people or anything like that. Um, so if you're one of those people that actually cares, I mean, if you if you voted, you kind of care. So I'm sure you'll check this video out, or maybe not, because it's going to be long. It's already freaking 20 minutes, but... Uh, Whoops! What did I? Um, I don't understand what the what the issue with that is. I think being right down in the middle would be perfect. No, do you want it to be? It's not hard. It's not hard. Not easy. It's in the middle. Same as drop rates. All about RNG. I I, I don't understand the issue with that. Uh, I would agree with this. Magic chest is definitely devalued. A lot of unique drops, especially since Iron Man can get access to them. Um, I've. I'll admit, I've changed the drop rate for Magic Chest a thousand times. I It, it started off at, I think, 1 in 2,500. Back when the minigame came out, we had, like, 10 players. And over I think it's 1 in 10,000 right now. 
So I, I, I understand this issue completely. I haven't really talked about it on update logs, but yeah, I completely agree with you. I think crystal keys are not that bad. I think mystery boxes are not that bad, but it's one of those things where I it's kind of too late. You know, it's it's one of those things where it's just too late. I can I can work on on things we can do here and there. I can make the drop rates harder, make more items in the future that are are not obtainable through these methods, or make the rates lower, but. Um, that's something we're working on. Like I said, I've already started on that pretty much like through the entire, you know, entirety of the game. No gambling. Um, we talked about that. No Rosalo in game. It comes back every... Th it, it leaves and comes back every once in a while. The, the logic behind it was that it would be in game for a couple months. It would leave for a couple months. It would come back for a couple months. And um, for people who are newer, you might not realize this was a problem, but uh, earlier on... We had, like, when Rosalo was created, we had, like, an issue with... No one wanted cash. There wasn't any reasons to use cash other than, like, small things like, um... Like, if you did master clues and whatnot. So no one valued cash. If you were to trade anything, you had to trade items for items. And Rosalo... I don't know if it was purely Rosalo or just the game progressing, more players joining and whatnot, but it definitely helped loads. Cash is king now. Now everybody, you know, wants cash and takes cash and accepts it, so... Rosalo, I don't know if it was just Rosalo or if it was other things, but it worked out well. Um, I, it's kind of weird now to add it to the game again, but I'm going to because that was what we said. It'll come back on the 1st of January, so there you go. Home Teleports and Magic Book. There you go, lose his name. Um, the Home and the Teleports in, in the Magic Book. I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what your issue with that is on Anonymous. He still plays, so... You can PM me directly when we talk about that. Bug moms. That's kind of an issue we're having lately. There's a lot of issues with monsters. I have no clue why. Because, like, we haven't touched any of these files. Like, the Inferno has been having issues lately. Which makes no sense to me because the Inferno hasn't been touched since it was released. Like, I don't know why all of a the sudden these new glitches are appearing. But, uh, yeah, we're working into that. I, 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 pr I promise you, even if nothing gets fixed and we release a new update and nothing's fixed in the new update, it's not like we're forgetting about it or we, we're not aware of it. It's just, it, it's it's an issue that's bigger than that moment. So, we're, we're working on that. With Pucket Logs, I feel like this person, might, they might have one, I don't know. Luck of the Pugs isn't as overpowered as everyone thinks it is, and I can give you a perfect example of that. Recently, the Invention Starter Pack was added to our web store, and with that, you could get the Ring of Fortune, which is the third in, in the tiers. So basically, you have the normal Ring of Wealth, you have Ring of Wealth I. Ring of Wealth I is the same as Ring of uh, the Treasonous Ring, Ring of the Gods, the imbued ones. It's like the same same bonus. And then the Eternal Ring is the same bonus as Ring of Wealth I. And then you have Ring of Fortune, which is better than all of the ones I just mentioned. And then you have Luck of the Pugs, which is the best. And with the Ring of Fortune, I've heard some people complain that it doesn't even work because it's not as crazy as people kind of assumed it would be. Um... With Luck of the Pugs, I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. Uh, it's going to be a really, really hard ring to obtain once it's obtainable. And it will be obtained with Invention if you're not familiar. So we'll monitor it, but I don't think, I'm not completely worried with it. It's not as overpowered as everyone thinks. It's just like, it's, it's one of those things where no one really has it. So no one, you know, you just assume it's, you know, it's, it's super good. And like people who get really lucky, like John, for example, he has one. And he always gets lucky. So you just assume that it's the ring, but I have one, and I... I mean, I'm, I'm not unlucky, but I'm, I'm definitely not, like, crazy lucky or anything like that. A few more skilling zones. If you have any suggestions, feel free to post them. Not knowing where to start. I, I'd like to improve that. I, I think that's definitely an issue. Need more players, 200 plus. That That is a very <laughs> high request, because we've, uh, like, we've gone through a lot of you know, a different player counts, different moments in, in the time, and I'm so ecstatic at where we're at right now. I could probably log in right now. We'd have, like, 70 people, which is just amazing. So I, I think that this is probably coming from someone who just plays big servers, but it's really hard for a little server to survive, and the fact that we've done so well has been awesome. Um, better voting rewards. Voting, I don't think it helps vo um, bring in new players that much. And I don't think voting rewards is really going to entice people to vote. I mean, I'm, I'm always looking for improvements. If you have any suggestions, feel free. YouTube promotions were always... Well, I mean, this theoretically is a YouTube promotion. Someone might see this video and go, Oh, I love the fact that this is 30 minutes of talking. I want to join that server. Uh, tox see, here's another toxic <laughs> toxic community. You can just sort of, like, gauge, gauge the person's character just off of the way that they, you know, just... Yeah. If you if you if genuine opinions, feel free to PM me. And if you don't want to like if you don't want to like comment, and you want to be anonymous. 
PM me in game. I mean, obviously, I'll know who you are, but like you could just make a new counter. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you don't want me to know, then at that point, I don't know what you're doing. Lack of guides. I think there's enough guides. If there's anything in particular, let me know. Meaningless drops on the rare table. Rare table is uh, sort of weird. It was originally meant to be 1 in 750, but it's actually like... Originally, it was like 1 in 33. Um, with my better understanding of the, how the tables work and whatnot, I, I've determined that it is, it is actually 1 in 175. So the loots are kind of bad for 1 in 175. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions, I, I mean, that's, I think that's one of those things where like, that's not even up to us. That's up to you guys. You guys, you guys are a part of this game, whether you like it or not. So if you don't have ideas, you know, some if we don't have ideas and you don't have ideas, you know, nothing gets done. So we're, we're both SOL. So it, it takes two at a tango. Mather, I agree. Pay to win, I completely disagree with pay to win. I think this server is very easy to progress without donating. You can get donator status in game like immediately. Um, it, we've we've done so many things to help that, so I disagree. The fact that we still don't have raid prayers, it's coming. The the, the we'll probably release it with the solo raids uh, unless Dark can get it up sooner. I'm not sure. Seems a bit unstable. That's uh, that's before we've had all of our issues. Um, I don't know. Um, like we have had some bugs lately, some some annoying ones like the the event gets. Ruined and whatnot, or in the Inferno, as I mentioned, is broken. So it's kind of like, you know, I, I understand that. We're working on it, obviously. that's uh, Being stable is the most important thing as a server. I feel like all the people I say make YouTube videos I always have mechs gear. Um, if you're not, like, 100% aware, and I feel like this person isn't aware, a lot of YouTube videos nowadays are advertisements. If you're sub to me for a long time, you'll know that I also advertised back in the day. Um, that's just that's just the main way people check out servers. People want to see videos. They want to see the server. They want to experience it. That's how we do it. So, I it's not like they're giving this stuff for free. It's you know it's it's in promotion of the game. Even if we didn't pay them um, like real money or we just paid them in game gear, they're helping the server more than you'd think. Because yeah, as you you know might know, we had twenty players just couple months ago and now we have 80 plus so the promotion is definitely w worth it i i don't understand i mean if you have any other opinions let me know almost all radio bosses are streaming iron man i don't want to cater to iron man I, I don't want them to be excluded from anything but i don't i don't go out of my way for iron man and i say that as an iron man on old school if you're not familiar i do have a really good iron man on old school and the username is jamin if you want to look it up but i feel like iron man is they don't need any special treatment solo raids will solve this issue right here community. Again, that's funny that some people valued it so much and some people hated on it, which just makes me laugh. Um, I think this video is going way too long. We're scrolling down here. Yep. Small Vag. I think this person also put Big Vag was their favorite thing. Uh, you're fat man. You gotta have some... There's some prayers right here. Competition for resources. As we're growing, uh, we're, we'll work on it. You know, it's, it's... Yeah, of course. The more people we have, the more crowded bosses will be, but we know it's an issue. We've slowly... Made improvements. Instance tokens exist. Um, Bryce, I don't haven't seen him in a while. I don't think he plays anymore. AFKers, that's an issue, and the reason for that is the fact that uh, you know P I, I gave people mystery boxes a lot, so a lot of people are like in, almost like what's the word I'm looking for? Incentivized to like just stay logged in. So that's something we're working on. We added an AFK zone to sort of reduce how many are just standing at home. If we have to, I really wouldn't want to, but if we have to, we could add a logout timer. Maybe if you don't move for an hour. People who donate thousands of dollars. As the owner of the server, I can assure you, I don't know who, I don't know why you think people are donating a thousand dollars, but um, I think we have two, uh, what are we, elite, uh, elite donators, which is that rank. And how does that affect you? Again, if you're this person, let me know. Uh, how can you tell apart from what it is? But yeah, that, that's I believe that's been fixed since this. As you can see, some of these are older. This 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 was up a while ago. And then no gambling. And then there's the staff. Uh, so if you have anything to reply to, like if you have any feedback, let me know. I know this is kind of a weird video to just do out of nowhere, but I felt like talking about gambling. That's why I, I talked about it first. So I figured I would do this video on the full thing. Um, if you have any suggestions, any feedback, let me know. I don't have a new poll out yet. Um, if you've stayed this long in the video, uh, comment. Uh, don't comment anything. PM me on YouTube. PM me on YouTube. Pancakes. And you'll be entered to win a $25 bond. 
And I'm not going to put that in the title. I just That's just for you guys who stayed the entire time through. Uh, so don't don't comment because then that'll tip off other people that there's a giveaway. You gotta PM me. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for more content. I'm trying to get out daily videos.